There's a lot of sin'a rabotai going in Klal Yisrael. Anti-Semitic people, it's all coming out. Someone told me that I saw a couple, Goyim, they got stuck on the road, they had a flat tire. A 72-year-old Jewish man, not religious, he saw a car that has car trouble on the side of the road. He's 72 years old. He pulled over to help them. He pulled over to help them. They came out of the car. They see this guy pulled over to help them. They see he's wearing a Mag and David necklace. They beat him to no end. How could such a thing be? What happened? When do we hear this? Where do we hear this from? Humanity doesn't dictate such a thing. Straight sechel doesn't dictate. He's there to help you. What did he do? You, you know him? He did something to you? Did, he, did, did you ever meet this guy? Why? Not only you never met him, he never did anything to you. He's 72 years old. What do you want from him? Not only that, you're stuck. And he stopped to help you. And he's not a young guy that stopped to help you. He's 72 years old. You beat him up because he has a Megan David necklace? Ad kedekach, the fence is removed. Ad kedekach. You could be walking in the middle of Bora Park, 18th Avenue. You could be in the middle of walking 14th Avenue and it's all Jewish people. I'm not scared of anything. The cars will stop. People will get out, run after you, and beat. Shoes are being burned. Things are being destroyed. Not only Hashem Yerachem. I don't say this not only lightly because the Eretz Israel is Kadosh. Not only, but everywhere. Not just in America either. Everywhere, everywhere there are Jewish people, Rabotai. Everywhere there are Jewish people. This person walking in the middle of the city, going to work. Middle of the diamond district. What did he, what did he do? You know him? A car stops, these, these sick animals get out of their car with their bats. The person has no face left. No face left. He know he knew them. They knew him. He did something to them. The fence is removed. <coughs> There's no fence. They're on a the loose. Not only them, they're sar. We saw what happened. Like Baum and Rabotai. Till today, till today, I, I don't sleep from this. It touched everyone. It touched every single person. And you keep on hearing more and more and more and more story. This Avrech had a child just now, his wife, and this. Scary, sad, sad, sad situations. Erev Shavuot, the same thing. A family went on a trip. In Italy, I don't know where, the cart and, and this and this thing, I don't know, I don't know what it is, going, snapped the entire family, beautiful family. Five Jewish people. Shatadin. Why? Did you ever stop and ask why? We don't know Khajbanot up in Shamaim. We don't know. And I said that then to you. We're not here to make cheshbonot in Shamayim. But the Rambam says, if you say this is mikre, this is just happens, v'chitavo milchama, if you would have said v'chitavo milchama, a war comes, it's a war. Someone says, you know, in the summer, it gets hot, very hot in Eretz Israel. The Arabs, they get antsy. There's no air conditioning over there. They get antsy. And they start acting crazy. That's crazy. The Shatadin. It's not just Mikre. 
It's not just something happens. Someone says, V'chitavu milchama. That's not what the Pasuk says. Just a mikre. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Ani af, ani yelech imchem, chamad keri. We have to look in our own actions. There is Yadayim Yaday Asav, very strong, very strong in the world. They're stopping everywhere and beating people up. People tell me they are scared to walk around with their family, with their children in the street, even in the middle of Borough Park. Now they're sending troops and, and, and police and, and, and state troopers to protect the shuls. What happened here? What did we do to them? It's not what we did to them. It's what we're doing to ourselves. Of course that person didn't do anything to him. That person didn't do anything to him. The guy walking in the middle of the diamond district that his face got destroyed and they beat him up and they stabbed him. And the other person that just got stabbed in Eretz Israel, you see with a knife in his back and they can't take the knife out. Walking normal. They didn't do anything to the guy that stabbed him. We didn't do anything to them. It has nothing to do with us and them. We don't even know them. We even stopped to help them. So what is it? It's what we do to ourselves. It's how we talk to ourselves. It's how we treat ourselves. It's how we respect ourselves. It's the comments that we make to ourselves. What we say about ourselves. Mabetza. Mabetza. Betza, Boker, Tzoraim, Erev, Tfilot, Shacharit. We're going to go to Bet Knesset. We're going to go to Tfilah. Ay, Shira Ma'alod, Esa Enay El Arim. Mimamakim, Karatiha Adonai. Telim, Pegimil, this one, that one, say it. We should. That creates the fence. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. As long as there is that comment. It's a remote. All you got to do is press it. Today you could even do it on your phone. Boom. The gate opens. You could even say it. Hey, Siri, open the gate for me. And he'll do it. Open the gate. Hey, uh, uh, Melexa. Open the gate! And it will open the gate. Doesn't require much. And then the world goes loose. And they start attacking us. There's a lot of people, Hashem Yerachem. We have to be marbe shalom, marbim shalom. We have to respect each other. Respect Klal Israel. Enough with this nonsense. 